you can have it all. The winds were meant to be seven miles per hour, but uh, up there on the seawall, more like 27 miles per hour. Although that sunrise, absolutely stunning. Cannot fault it. I'm back down at the pink house and the last time I made a video here was around three months ago and I caught that lovely bass and also if you, re you remember all of those swallows were perching on my fishing line what a fantastic sight that was now despite the fact that it was a cracking day and it was a cracking day I did lose a lot of fish especially close in on the cheapy old boat rod and uh, I thought I'd pop back down to see if I can catch those fish that I lost last time. You never know, and it's a bit of fun. High water, it's in around two and a half, three hours time, absolutely flying across the mud, and that's because of that stiff southwesterly, but um, hopefully at some point it will calm down. On the two main rods, there's gonna be a 4-0 Paganoster panel for the bigger fish baits, and on the cheapy old boat rod, I'm gonna stick on a two hook flapper rig with size 10 hooks and um, on there I'll probably fish with straight ragworm close in no more than say 20 yards out anyway hope everyone's well hope everyone's doing all right it's a tough old life in it keep on fishing that's what I say Sorry about this wind. I have got the wind sock on the camera, but uh, I'm not sure if it's making much difference, to be honest. So I apologize if I'm shouting. If I had the camera facing the rods, the wind noise would be even worse. Hence why I've got it this way. It's such a beautiful morning. Just a shame it's so blowy. Anyway, the two main rods are now in action. At the moment, I've got a whole squid with a big bunch of ragworm on each. So uh, a big ragworm and squid cocktail bait. As for the cheapy old boat rod, I'll start using that, I don't know, maybe an hour before high water, or thereabouts anyway. Potential species at this mark today, cod, codlin, Dover sole, thornback ray, bass, flounder, silver reel, conger reel. Although to be honest, a couple of bites will do me. I'm getting blown away now. <laughs> Very first cast, just had a cracking bite on the right down rod. Really aggressive. Bang, 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 bang. Always good to see the rod tips bouncing away early on. Good for the old confidence levels. Of course, if it comes back, I'll let you know. We uh, missed that one. Only close that was, maybe 40, 50 yards. Right, rebate and get him back out there. I started off with a six ounce gripper, but um, because of that strong southwesterly, there's a bit of a swell out there, and they were moving a bit. Gone up to a seven ounce now, much better. Medium tight today, nothing massive. 10.5 meters, which in old money for Newport is 12.2 because we had 1.7. Bit of weed out there as well.
cheapy old boat rod down in the rocks, bait in the water. I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> As for the two main rods, left hand rod I'm fishing at range, giving that a good old whack. Right hand rod, mid range, and uh, the cheapy old boat rod, short range. Talk about covering all bases, gotta try it all, see? Yeah, not a lot to report so far. When I got that cracking bite first cast, I thought, hello, it's all gonna kick off. But that's how it goes. I just went to wind in one of my rods and um, I've spotted a baby rabbit just the other side of the seawall. So I think he's fallen down there. I don't think he's injured, just in shock. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him in my rag and I'll take him up there in amongst the shrubbery where he's nice and safe. Yeah, hopefully he'll pull through. Let's do that now. Here he is, actually. Fit as a fiddle now, nice and lively. So uh, I'll pop him down and he'll probably run off. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. He's gone. You probably couldn't see that on camera, guys, but uh, shot off like a rocket. Initially, I thought he was a bit stunned, you know, when he'd fallen down there, but. Yeah, fine. Oh, pleased about that. He's gone down there next to the reen. Come on, fishies. Pretty much bang on high water now. I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes or so down in these rocks because uh, up there, the wind is becoming unbearable. And it's quite cold too, despite this autumnal sunshine. Those rod tips, apart from blowing in the wind, not doing an awful lot. Dead. Must have been the curse of the first cast bite. Always the way. <laughs> but uh, we'll keep plugging away and something may turn up. I'm gonna fish it right down today. Just gonna go for it. Been back now. Out she goes. Just pop the old coat on. It's chilly, to say the least. On camera, I suspect it looks really warm, but <laughs> I can assure you, it's not. It's that time of the year now. Getting colder. Nothing on the squid or the ragworm. So uh, what I'm going to do now on both of the two main rods. I'm gonna stick on a whole Joey mackerel. Try and get a conger, a thornback ray, and of course, that's also a very good bass bait. I'm gonna throw the kitchen sink at it. <laughs> now surely we're gonna catch a fish on that. A whole Joey mackerel. And if I was a fish, I'd be scoffing that right down. Let's whack him out there.
to the ebb now. Probably got another hour of fishing left. The Joey mackerels, not a touch. I move the cheapio boat rod now to my left over there, trying a new spot, but as the old saying goes, I think I'm flogging a dead horse. Nothing out there today, but uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna use up the rest of the ragworm. Uh, I won't be fishing now for a while. So uh, I'm gonna make up some ragworm and squid bombs, or whatever you wanna call them. And uh, just go for gold. It's gonna be quite a short video this guys. <laughs> Not be an awful lot to talk about. Oh well. Very last cast of the session. I think I got a fish on you guys. Yes, I have got a fish on. Nice one too. Definitely a fish on. In about one foot of water. Yes! Woohoo! Oh. Here we are guys, the very last cast, literally in a foot of water. If I uh, got a conga you, I tell you what, he's not far off 10 pounds. He's a bit slippery, but there he is. That's a lovely fish. It's been a super tough session. Ugh. That's a thick old fish. Got a big head on him. That was on um, whole squid with a big bunch of ragworm. Let's get him back in straight away. The water is pretty much gone, so we gotta get him back in. He's nearly gone. I'm just gonna turn the other way and that'll be sorted. Oh, what a palaver trying to get that conga back. I didn't expect to get a fish almost three hours into the ebb. 
hardly any water there. Um, I didn't film a lot of that then, guys, you know, me returning it because what I was doing was quite dangerous, knee deep in mud. Um, I know this area like the back of my hand, so I have got a bit of knowledge. So, whilst you might think what I was doing was quite risky, to me it wasn't a massive risk, but uh, priority was to get that fish back in the water ASAP. Thankfully, after a bit of a bit of a struggle, bit of an effort, off he shot, and uh, that's made me feel good. You know me and fish welfare, always at the top of my agenda. He's gone. Tell our mate, all the best. I think I'll do my outro now. Look, it's been a super tough session. We had that bite. 31st cast, nothing at all until the very last cast. Uh, lovely conga, not far off 10 pounds. The wind has been a bit of a nightmare to be honest, but look, it's been an enjoyable day out. Always nice to wear the line whether you catch or not. And uh, like I've said many times, I couldn't care less anymore about blanking guys, you know. My fishing now is much more than just fish. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it was good to save that rabbit earlier. Uh, if I'd have left him there, he would have died. There's no way he could have got back up that wall. And, um, you know, sometimes it's good to give nature a helping hand. So I was chuffed with that. He shot off. I thought he was injured, but um, he just shot off fighting fit. So, yeah, another eventful session. But uh, we got there in the end. And there we are. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. I was, um, <coughs> yeah, that was, um, that was a task and a half getting that fish back. But there we are, uh, onwards and upwards and all that. As always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves. Take care. All the best. <laughs>